welcome back to the channel. A uh, crappy rainy day, especially on my birthday here today, but I'm uh, gonna definitely talk about something that has failed on your BMW or possibly will fail here very soon. Now, you can do a couple fixes to be able to correct this issue, but ultimately at the end of the day, if a part's gonna fail, it's gonna fail, and these just fail all the time. And what I'm talking about is your window regulator. It will fail. Nice. So this one is outside of my car uh, and the cable just snapped. But the problem, what really stemmed from this issue was is that my window that got stuck uh, during a hot summer day. So what you can do to fix that issue is you can do some silicone spray up there just so the window doesn't get tight with that. But here's the actual side that I replaced and if you guys are needing to do this because you're like, you know what, my window, you know, is not rolling down, rolling up, and it's making this sound. Ah, great. I have a great step-by-step -step DIY of when I replaced this one here. This is the one that was broken. Check out my DIY above. Goes down all the way. And all the way up. All three other windows are perfect. No issues with that. It's really an inexpensive uh, fix to be able to uh, replace it. Like I said, step-by-step -step DIY here on the channel just to help you guys out, you know, trying to get you to save some money as much as possible during your ownership of, you know, your BMW and stuff like that. But these fail just all too easy um, just over time with it just getting stuck and the cable just snaps. Either that or, you know, the plastic tabs break off. There's just could be all kinds of different things of, as far as why they fail and when they do fail. So it's not to say my other three windows are not gonna fail. They could possibly do fail. But uh, when I put down my window in a hot summer day, it got stuck on the top of the window seal there and I heard the cable snap and obviously I knew what happened when that went on. But it's an inexpensive fix. I wanna say I picked it up from SCP Euro for like $30, $30 or $40 if that. Um, that's for the OEM brand. Uh, you can do the BMW brand. I think it's like $60, $70. So very inexpensive of course and um, just showing you how easy it is to do it. Simple as that. Well, quick little uh, video, check out the DIY that I have here on the channel. And of course, if you have the same scenario, then that's what most likely is. They do sell kits that you could try to re rewind um, and replace your actual cable, but that doesn't seem to work really well. It's just easier just to buy the whole assembly uh, ready to go. Uh, all you have to do is swap over your uh, stock motor that's on there that, that uh, goes right here. Those don't fail too often. Um, but obviously, you know, looking at it, you could have to replace the motor and those get a little pricey, especially for each individual one. All right, guys, thanks again. And hopefully you have a great kickoff to your weekend. Have a great uh, Friday, front end Friday, put it that way. Uh, check out more videos on the 335, of course, and also uh, the M5 that I have here. Thanks again, a uh, big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and time to pitch this in the trash.